people tacos today we have uh three of these tacos have uh, ground turkey pepper jack cheese mozzarella cheese pico pico de gallo we have guacamole and sour cream babe we got everything on there yummy delicious we have a side of cilantro lime sauce and we are drinking some wicked blue citrus flavored water Yummy, freaking delicious. Who is ready for this mother flipping mukbang? Who want a yummy bite? Y'all know y'all want some. What's up, yummy bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Happy Taco Tuesday. Oh my God, so excited. Ugh. Nails done. Y'all, I did my hair. Yeah, yeah, the hair is back, baby. <laughs> We are drinking a uh, Wicked Blue Citrus Flavor Water today. Oh, yes, y'all. I'm happy today. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Delicious. All right, let's play over our food. Amen. Y'all, look at these freaking tacos. Ah, oh, they look delicious. Who is ready for this mother flipping mukbang? Taco Tuesday. Y'all, this is gonna be messy. I already know it. Refer to the video before this if you wanna know everything that is on this taco. Okay. Cilantro lime sauce. Ugh, this is about to be so good. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Perfection. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, 
Okay, I'll get in the way. Oh my gosh, y'all, these tacos are heavy. They are literally heavy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, this is beyond delicious. Mm. 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 That's the roast beef one. Beef one. Yeah, y'all. Canned roast beef. Best can roast beef I ever had. Let me know in the comments who watched the eclipse. Who watched it? And I hope ain't nobody blind. Mmm. Mmm. I heard that you couldn't even record. Um, record the, you couldn't even, you can't even record it, okay? Because you, the, the phone can't look at the sun neither. Not only can us humans not look at it, the, our phones can't look at it. Or it'll mess our phones up. Mmm. Girl. Delicious. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. Yeah, I made five this time, honey, because, but, yeah. I'm hungry today because y'all already know what's going on, ladies. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just a little more hungry. Uh. Oops, excuse me. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. And I honestly think I'm going to eat all of these. One of them. Who want a yummy bite? <laughs> Who want a yummy mother flipping bite?
delicious. Mmm. Okay. Okay, girl. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Okay, you're gonna have to move out the way because we got things to do. Business to take care of. Mm-hmm. 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 right now. Who loved that crunch? Mm-hmm. Tommy right now. Mm-hmm. It's a ground beef. I mean, ground turkey. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Better not come apart. Mmm. Guess is almost done with season five. Love is mine. Girl, season five had some freaking twists and mother flipping turns. It was full of drama. Like, now I'm trying to wait to see who's actually going to get married. Because I left off on the day before everybody gets married, y'all. I cannot freaking wait to watch the rest of it. And I can't wait for season seven. When is that supposed to be coming on? Mmm. I hope they don't wait too long. I guess in the meantime, I'll be watching Love Island. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. That's it. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Y'all got a piece of shell right in the middle of my teeth. Like, what is going on here? Mm. Look at my hair already getting frizzy. And I'm just sitting here. Y'all, I washed my hair, got all my curls back. Thank you, Jesus. Okay? I got every single last curl back. And this time, when I before I straightened it, I used this stuff called Color Wow. It's for humidity. So your hair won't revert. <clears throat> anyway. Um, and my Chi Iron Guard um, to um, protect from uh, heat damage. That's what I used last time, too. So, yeah, Chi is working for you, girl. I was so scared that I wasn't going to get my curls back. And no, I don't feel like wearing them just yet. <laughs> nope. This is just too easy. It's too easy. Like, if, don't let me find out about nothing easy. Okay? 
because that's gonna be my route er time er time i promise you i know i didn't get sauce on my neck lord yeah and i don't know how else to fix my hair either y'all i'm gonna figure it out <laughs> but this is just easy to the side because i don't like the middle part when i'm wearing my own hair i don't like it it just i don't know it gives i don't like it <laughs> Y'all, I felt so bad yesterday when I couldn't go live with y'all. I would, had planned it. Everything was planned. Um, I had just found out yesterday that we were going to have family over. I didn't even know it. My parents had came over, and they didn't even call and let me know they was coming. Um, they didn't stay for the crawfish, though, because they don't eat crawfish. But Marshall, Mama, um, and Stepdaddy was here. And y'all, like, I just thought that that would be so rude if I got on live while they were here. So I just did. And I messaged y'all and let y'all know. I hope everybody understood because I wasn't able to check the messages. Um. Mm -mm, huh? Yep. Okay. Um. So, yeah, I was like, oh my God. Now I was thinking that. After the mukbang, it depends on what time. You know, it don't even matter what time it is. Actually, you know, it does. Cause, oh my god, I was figuring like after the mukbang, I could go live uh, with y'all because murder show is not going live today. But we, we won't be able to drink anything because it's already a uh, past time. Um, although. I didn't eat anything earlier. So we could um, taste the drinky drinks after I'm, but y'all, I haven't even, I barely even started the video yet. Dang. I may have to go live like tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. And I'm gonna make it a point to um, film early. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna film early so I can yeah, I'm just going to set it up, y'all. I'm going to set it up tomorrow, um, and we'll go live tomorrow. Just a little something tomorrow, but then we're going to go live on Sunday, next Sunday, like I told y'all I would. Ooh. G am I getting full? No, I just need to burp. <laughs> I just need to burp. Oh, boy. Sometimes you have to release. Relax, relate, and release. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Look at all these toppings. Mm-mm. No, you're not going nowhere. Sometimes you gotta talk to your food. <laughs> I swear, y'all, if I had one meal to eat, it was my last meal, it would be a taco. I thought about burgers. Mm-mm. It would be a taco. Oh, y'all, I got my car back. I don't know if I've announced that. Y'all, I got my car back, and it looks like a brand new car. I mean... 
I know I didn't let y'all see the damage because I didn't. <laughs> um, but girl, they had totaled my car out. And I was like, forget that. I want it fixed because I want my car. Because, I mean, nothing was done to my engine or any, like, major anything, like, in, on the inside of my car. And I never had a problem with that car, y'all. Never. Okay? It never went to the shop for no reasons. Okay? I just had to do, like, regular maintenance. I think I... Have I tried... No, I haven't changed the alternator yet. I haven't even changed the battery. I might have changed the battery. I don't know, but I, I don't think so. I don't know. If y'all remember, let me know, because I can't even remember. But, um, yeah, engine perfection, and it's so weird. He brought it back to me. My car, it, it just the way it rides, it, 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 it rides better. I don't know what he did, girl. But he was professional, like, and this was like just a, a, a man that did collisions. Like he works for a um a body a, a auto uh, a dealership. He works at a dealership, and um and yes, girl, he is Mexican, honey. Mexicans know everything. I like they know how to cook. They know how to freaking do everything. Everything. It's just, yeah, anyway, so grateful for him. <laughs> Recommended him to my daddy. My daddy's supposed to call him about some work. Uh, I'm recommending him to everybody. His son did my tent. Y'all know how my tent was coming off of my freaking um, window. Redid my tent, y'all. My tent looks so freaking good. Ah! I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, y'all, the car looks like a brand new car. He cleaned out. He cleaned all the inside of my car. I didn't ask him to do it. None of that, y'all. None of that. It is just, it, everything is, is perfection. And, and guess what? Guess what? <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. I haven't even driven my car yet. I mean, I did a little bag up and a little drive just right in front of the house. But I'm talking about I ain't went nowhere in that freaking car, y'all. Nowhere. I'm scared to drive. I, I Like, it's like I'm traumatized, y'all. I'm literally, I am afraid to drive my car. It is the weirdest thing, y'all. <laughs> And I've been in accidents before, and I had never been afraid to drive again. That never happened to me. But now, girl. I ain't took their car nowhere. Mmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to do that one at all. I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm so hungry. Let me make five, girl. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's called something or what. You would think that when I got my car, I would have hopped in that mud and went some daggone well. Mm-mm, honey. <laughs> I just want to stay here. Mm-mm. Mm. I mean, eventually, I'm going to drive the daggone car, y'all. I know. But it's just hard right now. Really hard. Mm-mm. Mm. So y'all, if anybody needs a mechanic or somebody to do tent, let your girl know. <laughs> 
Because I got a good referral. I mean, great. <laughs> this man fixed my car. Like I said, he works at a dealership, right? During the week. And so, he would fix my car on the weekend, y'all. That's why he had it for so long. Um, But, yeah, y'all. Like, ugh, I'm so happy. So happy. Mm. He was trustworthy. He has his own garage that my car was at. Mm. Oh, girl. I'm about to pop. So, we're going to talk about this episode that I seen on um, Love is Blind Today, girl. Because I have to talk about this with y'all. And get it off my chest. My goodness. Mm. Wait a minute. Did y'all know that season five was in Houston? Season five was in Houston, y'all. I didn't um, notice anybody that, like, I've seen or whatever. But they were living in River Oaks. You know how when... Yeah, you know how when they go and they live together before they get married? Um... They lived in some really nice apartments in River Oaks. Y'all know that's like the richest spot to live in Houston. Um, and like the richest area. And uh, yeah, just beautiful. But um, why was I even telling y'all that part? Anyway, I was telling y'all to, to tell y'all that they was in Houston and I didn't even know that they had done a show in Houston. Um, but that was exciting to know. Exciting. I wonder how people know about these different shows that come, um, you know, to the city. Because I didn't hear anything about that show coming here. Like, nothing at all. Um. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh. Get everything together. I don't want to have a mess in front of me. Okay. All right. Dang, I shouldn't have made that freaking taco. Eyes bigger than my daggone stomach. <laughs> Ugh, I got to brush it, y'all, because my hair be tripping. Like, when I brush it, it'll, it won't look so... Like frizzy. <clears throat> there. To the bag, bag, bag. Okay. Now, so it was this couple, right? <clears throat> um, they went to go live together, right? And the girl, the lady, um, yeah, I don't know their names. Okay, your girl just can't remember everybody freaking name. Um, but she's in his apartment. Um, looking around or whatever, and she finds a drawer with like jewelry and stuff, right? And um, and he's like, um, you know, that that was his lost and found from you know women that come to his house and leave stuff, and he just throws it in there, right? And so she gets upset. She gets upset, okay, knowing, first of all, knowing that this man had a life before he met her, um, you know, maybe he didn't, you know, get rid of the stuff before she came over there. Maybe he for, freaking forgot, or I don't know. I just, I don't know. She thought that it was something wrong with his character. Um, that's why he didn't throw away the jewelry or whatever, I just want to know, would that bother y'all if, you know what I'm saying, um, 
let's just okay because they're engaged right now but it's almost like they're just girlfriend and boyfriend because it ain't been that long it's a show okay but they're engaged okay but to me it's like they're you know they're just starting off at getting to know each other basically not even girlfriend and boyfriend and she's like she's so upset because he had that stash and she was like um why wouldn't you uh, throw this away before I, you know, came over here? You knew that I was coming over here. Um, I even got rid of some stuff that uh, you probably shouldn't have seen, you know, out of my apartment. She was just really judging him real, real hard. And I just thought that was wrong. I really thought that that was wrong because this man had a life before he met you. He didn't know that he was going to be bringing you home. Like, he didn't know if he was going to be, you know getting engaged to anybody he didn't know um you know and I just didn't think it was a big deal that he had that stash stash of jewelry now I don't know why he would be keeping it because she was like she didn't know why he kept it or whatever but is that not his business like I feel like that's his business now when you become his wife would it throw it away then or ask him can you or would he throw it away? You know what I'm saying? Like, just ask. But uh, I just thought, and then I had a big argument over that, y'all. Over that. Like, I just thought that it was unnecessary. It was an unnecessary argument. And, like, you know, some stuff you just don't have to argue about. Like, and then that just started a whirlwind of other arguments. It was just, ugh, God. I, I don't really care for her that much, y'all. I really don't. And I'm wondering if they're going to get married. I'm wondering. I'm, I don't know. But I'm definitely going to find out, though. Definitely going to find out. Um, What else? Oh, same guy. Same woman, okay? Um, So she looks... Because she's looking all around his apartments, going in his cabinets and stuff. You know, like... Y'all don't think that's rude? I think that's rude. I really do. Um, that was his personal apartment, not the apartment that they lived together in. His personal apartment. They were, you know, going. They were going to go see each other's personal apartments and how each other lived or whatever, just to get to know a little bit more about them. I guess it is okay for her to go in his uh, cabinets. I don't know. I, I think that's rude. Going in folks' kitchen cabinets. Anyway. So she goes in his cabinets and she's seen that he has um, plastic plates and paper plates. He has some um, plastic cups and he has some, um, you know, some red cups also, right? And she was so judgmental, y'all, talking about where is his glasses and his glass plates. And guess what she thought, y'all? She thought that... Because he did not have glass, glasses and glass plates and, you know, just a regular, you know what I'm saying? He was, first of all, he was a bachelor, okay? What do you expect him to have? Of course he doesn't want to do dishes. Who wants to do freaking dishes? Anyway, so she's thinking in her weird head, um, he doesn't have uh, glasses and plates for me to eat on. Nobody was worried about you when he was getting his uh, stuff for his kitchen. Nobody was thinking about you. And she she's not thinking like this. She's thinking that it's something personal against her. Y'all, this lady's crazy. Like, how could you think that was personal against you? How? How? It's just, it was just weird. Say, what did she say? She said, I wish I could let y'all hear what she said. Oh my God. She said, um, I feel like you're just trying to tell me that you're a bro and that uh and that you don't care if I eat on um nice uh plates and drink out of glass. Something like that. She was I was like, I couldn't believe that she got that rationale out of out of him having plastic plates and plastic cups like what how did you think that that had anything to do with you the nerve it was literally the nerve y'all um yeah i don't care for her at all like i hope that he does not marry her like i hope this okay then same woman same man 
He didn't have a nightstand. She talked about how weird it was and he didn't have it. He didn't want a nightstand. Like, what in the world? I don't have a nightstand either. I, I had one and I got rid of it because um, I needed to put something else in that spot. Okay, basically. But she was just so disrespectful, girl. And mind you, she comes from money. Okay, she comes from money. Um, and I guess she's used to eating on China, I guess. I don't know. But um, uh, what happened? Y'all, I'm losing my train of freaking thought. Um, yeah, and he just felt so defeated. He even ended up crying. I was like, oh, no, Lord God, please don't cry. I swear. The men on that show cry too much for me. They really do. They cry entirely too much, y'all. They be consoling each other. I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with a man crying, but the things that they were crying about, knowing women for two weeks and they crying over them, and, and something crying the first week, y'all. Like, why are you crying? I know your feelings were not that strong for this girl. Like, I know they weren't. And I know the kind of people that go on that show. It's the kind of people who are normally judged for their looks, whether good or bad. And they didn't want to be judged for their looks anymore. They want to be judged for their heart. And... Oh my God. Let me know in the comments. Do you, okay, if y'all went on that show and y'all were just judged for your personality, your heart, and just your character, right? Do you think that you get picked? <laughs> do you think that you get picked by just telling them what you do in your life, you know, what you've done, um, your hardships, your family, you know, stuff like that? Do you think that you get picked? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. But yeah, um, yeah, that's the, that's all the notes that I had um for them. I didn't write any notes for any other couples, but um, yeah, let me know if you saw season five, the Houston um episodes. Let me know. Uh, let me see. What do I have for y'all? Um, that I say. Y'all, there was this video that I came across of this woman. Like, I'm like, why is she crying like that? I want y'all to listen and y'all tell me what y'all think it is because she literally doesn't even tell you in the video. She just is saying that um, we're all worried about the wrong thing. Let's just listen. Let me turn this up because it, it's just, it's, it, it, shocked me and just I was like what is wrong with her like tell us what it is anyway listen to this you know, I never get on this app and cry we don't have time no more we don't have time if you live in the city of Dallas Texas if you live in the city of Dallas Texas there is a massacre that is about to happen allegedly Allegedly. So what do y'all think she's talking about? What do, what do y'all think she's talking about, y'all? I need some explanations. Because my first thought was she thinks that God is, you know, the Lord is coming back soon. or But but then 
Mercer was like, well, no, because she said um, there's going to be, what did she say? Did she say a massacre? Something that's going to happen in, in, in Dallas. Um, allegedly, this is what she's thinking. Um, so I guess it's not the Lord coming back, but it's something terrible she thinks is going to happen in Dallas in particular, allegedly. Um, what do y'all think it could be? Because she really sounds serious and it's, it's a little scary the way she reacted. It's, it's a little scary. So y'all let me know what, what y'all think. Um, that was pretty serious. And the people in her comments, girl, she cut the comments off. <gasps> y'all should have seen them mother flipping comments, honey. They thought she was off her rocker. For real. Um, some people understood what she was saying, but they didn't even say what they thought it was. Um, they were just agreeing with her when she was saying to seek God. Uh, so anyway, well, I can't read the comments with y'all because she done cut them off, honey. They were saying some of everything um, in them comments. Um, all right. Listen to this um is this it hold on <laughs> psa to parents of children in junior high my 11 year old daughter just oh this is for um people who have kids that are in junior high that are in uh middle school okay this is a mom and she has a child that is in middle school and this is what the kids are doing in middle school and she just wants Every parent that has, you know, school-aged kids to know about this and to know that their kids could be doing it too because that's what the horrible thing is about freaking school. My God, the kids. I mean, like, you can't really control what your kids consume when they go into school from, like, other children. Girl, oh, my God. Like, you can teach them everything that you think is good at the house but when they go to school it's a whole nother ball game honey listen to this informed me that the boys are playing a game called um the fire truck game and now i will preface this by saying i know that kids will be kids and kids do some stupid shit but we've got to do better at teaching our boys to keep their hands off of other people and teaching our girls that it is okay to have boundaries. Yeah. This fire truck game. This is how she explained it to me. This she is said, very carefully. A boy puts his hand on the lower thigh of a girl and he tells her, My hand is a fire truck. I'm going to slowly move it up. But when you get uncomfortable, you say red light. And so he moves it up slowly, and when he gets to a point that makes the girl uncomfortable, she says red light. And you know what the little fuckers do? They say, sorry, fire trucks don't stop at red lights. Yeah. And they run their hand all the way up until they touch the girl's crotch. So just wow. be aware if you hear about your kids playing the fire truck game, you have been informed. <laughs> all right. PSA. Comment section. Ladies, gentlemen, y'all let me know, uh, because I know people are from different places. Um, when you was in school, let me know some games that y'all knew y'all wasn't supposed to be playing at school that y'all played. Let me know in the comments. I'm going to tell y'all one that we played. I remember this so vividly in elementary school. Um, we would play, uh chase um and that's just what it was called it was chase the boys would chase the girls right and and this was in elementary we didn't know nothing about nothing but obviously the boys did okay um they would run after us and hit our butts okay but we thought it was funny and but, and we wanted our butts hit. We wanted it done, okay? Because who was doing it was the cute little boys, right? Like, and I just, like, I literally was, is that what it was called? Chase, was it called Chase, y'all? 
Um, I think it was. Anyway, y'all let me know in the comments. Did y'all know anything about that? I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure there was more than that. Um, but that was at school. I was talking, I'm talking about at school, not in the neighborhood or, you know what I'm saying? Not none of that. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's the only thing that I can, uh, think of. Yeah. The guys used to chase us and hit our butts. I don't know where the hell the teachers were because this was during recess. Okay. Um, so yeah, anyway, just make sure y'all talk to y'all's kids. About, you know, I don't even know how she was able to even find that out. Like, you know, her daughter told her. I guess her daughter just, you know, offered up the information. I guess she just thought her mom needed to know. I don't know. But um, that's amazing, though. Um, because normally something had to have happened and then it comes out, you know. But um, uh, what else, y'all? Oh, just remember, I, I don't know how y'all feel about y'all's kids spending the night at folks' houses. Y'all, when I, when I tell y'all, when I was a child, we were not allowed to spend the night at nobody's house. I don't know the reason. Um, never knew the reasons. It was just always no. Just no. You know, and, and you know why I didn't know a reason? Because we didn't even ask. When our parents said no, you think we was like, why? Oh, <laughs> we, we didn't know the word why because we didn't use it. We, like, we didn't. It, that's just the truth. Like, you know, our parents had us trained good, honey. When they said no, that's what they meant. And, that, and we knew that that's what they meant. And we didn't even think about asking why. You know what I'm saying? We just knew that the answer was no. And we would be, we would tell our friends ahead of time, we would be like, they gonna say no. <laughs> we had already knew they was gonna say no. But our friends just wanted us to ask just to see. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. So yeah, that was the thing. We were not able to, you know, spend a night at nobody's house. But the one time. The one time, I don't know if I've already told y'all about this. I probably didn't. I probably didn't tell y'all about this, but <laughs> it's something a little personal. But I, I know that this happens with other kids. I know it does. Um, so we asked, um, I can't remember, was this for her birthday? It was one of my best friends, right? Um, and she, you know, she was having a sleepover. It was, um, it was me and my little sister that was invited. Okay. And she had a little sister, right? Um, but, uh, the oldest, the oldest girl, she was my friend. She was my best friend, right? Um, mind you, she was older, excuse me, but we were in the same grade because she had been, like left back or something because y'all know how parents used to just be like, you know, they didn't want their kids to go into the next grade. So they were left back. And I think she was left back. She might've been left. It was either one or two grades back. Right. So she was a little, you know, more experienced than me or whatever. Anyway. So the first time that, my parents let us spend the night at somebody's house. We went over there. Um, and I can't, y'all, I can't remember much. I remember, but I can't remember, like, you know, if we played games and somebody, like, I don't know anything about that. I can't remember that. But I remember when it was time to go to bed. Okay. They, they had two twin beds in, in her room, right? Um, and... So, it's time for us to go to bed, right? Um, and and it's it, this story, honestly, it's, it isn't traumatizing for me at all. Um, you know, and I don't know why it's not because this will probably be traumatizing for some people. But anyway, her. Let me let me get this story right. Hold on, because. Her little sister, 
okay? I don't know why I was in the twin bed with her and not my friend. Uh, I honestly feel like it. both of them like it took turns or something. I can't, y'all, anyway. So, yeah, uh, she was uh, touching, okay? Yeah, um, touching, and I was like, oh, my God. You know, I didn't say anything, but, you know, I don't know how she knew about all of this because I didn't know nothing at all. Um, she was t And she would say, uh, I remember this, y'all, I'll never forget it. She would uh, uh, be saying, ticket, ticket, what did she say? Ticket, ticket, ticket. It, like that, she would do that when she was when she was touching, okay? I'm like, I wonder why she's doing that. And um, her mom had came in and, and, and we kind of like, you know how like you startled and, and stopped doing whatever you're doing? And her mom just looked and said, um, what y'all doing? And we like, nothing. We uh going to sleep or whatever. She said that. I didn't say nothing. And um and so she um uh, closed the door and she went right back. Tiki tiki tiki. You know, I'm like, oh my gosh. And um and I remember the both of them doing that. I don't know if, if this happened to my little I think I, I don't know. I'm just gonna speak for me, okay? Um and it, yeah, it was just it was weird. I, I can't say that I I, I I didn't stop it. I didn't. Um, you know. Uh, but come to find out, they were f some really fast little girls. Like, they were fast. My goodness, the things that I found out. I mean, we stayed friends. We stayed friends. Um, um, and I ended up having a fight with, uh, with my best friend. I ended up having a fight with her. I know I've already told y'all about that. But anyway, um, so somehow my parents found out, y'all. I thought I was going to go to heaven for real. My, I don't know how they found out y'all to this day. I don't know how. My parents sat us down to the table in the living room, the dinner table, and um, and had a talk with us. And it was almost like they were only talking to me. Okay, my sister was there too, but they was just talking to me. And um, and they wanted to know what happened, and I had to tell them everything that happened, or at least I thought I did, but I did. That's what I did. I told them everything. And how freaking embarrassing! How embarrassing! And when I tell you, we never, ever, ever got to even like I don't even know if we was able to go around the corner no more by her house, like. You know what I'm saying? The pool was over there and everything. We definitely didn't get to step foot in that house no more. Ever again. Um, they didn't trust nobody. Let, yeah, and we never spent the night at nobody else's house. Ever again. Um, yeah, it never happened again either. Um, with anybody else. Uh, thank God. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and like I said, it wasn't it wasn't traumatizing for me. Um, did anything like that happen to anybody? I mean, if you want to tell, you don't have to tell because that's like personal for some people. I don't mind telling that um, story, but yeah. And like I said, me and my best friend, we ended up getting into a fight. Um, some of y'all probably remember when I told y'all about this, but um, I can't even remember what that was about. All I know is after school. Uh, and um, she had borrowed this girl's guest uh, sweatshirt. Remember when guest was in? <laughs> she had borrowed this girl's, uh, this older girl's sweatshirt that lived in our apartments. It was a crop sweatshirt. And it had, you know, guests on the front. It had the triangle with the guests in there. 
and um her and her crew i was walking home i think i had detention or something i don't even know i was i had to walk home um and and she was already telling me that she was gonna beat my behind or whatever after school and and i i don't know if i had um detention or not or i just thought that i needed i had to stay after school so me and her could fight because it was so much peer pressure People asking me, was I going to fight her and stuff? And I was like, I don't know, you know, because I didn't want to fight. Okay. I did. She wanted to fight me for some reason. I can't remember what it was about. Um, I can't remember y'all at this point. But so I'm walking home. She, her and all of these people. Are, it was like half of the school was on her side. Nobody was walking with me. Nobody. I was by myself, y'all. By myself. And, um... And I'm just walking, and she pushes me, right? I had my backpack on, I'm walking fast, too. Because <laughs> I didn't want to fight. And she pushed me, and I turned around. And, girl, we just started going. I had pulled this shirt and ripped it in half. And it was a lot of boys there, right? And um, because they was coming to watch her fight because they just knew she was going to whip my behind, right? So I grabbed her and I ripped the shirt in freaking half. Mind you, this was not her shirt. And I heard that that shirt cost $30. Y'all, was $30? Y'all, $30 back then was like $100, okay? Ripped that mug in half and she was mad because everybody knew it wasn't her shirt, right? Y'all know when we used to borrow each other clothes back in the day? Anyway, so... Yeah, and so, um, and so we fall down on the ground. She slapped me one time in the face. That was it. I and I was I had I had like I told you I had ripped the shirt in half. I don't even know if I hit her or not. I ripped it in half and I was trying to take that mug off. Her bra was showing. All the boys was like, ooh, 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 you know, all that silly stuff. And um. I don't think it I don't remember anybody breaking it up, honestly. We I think we had just stopped. And, and I got my backpack and I started walking real fast. Um and and that was pretty much it, y'all. And then uh like some days later, she gonna come to my house on her bike. Talking about <laughs> she came to my house on her bike, y'all. Talking about um Christy, you want to be friends? And I was like, yeah, I, it, I guess, you know, like, <laughs> isn't that funny? Oh, my God. All you had to do was, like, ask somebody did they want to be friends again, and then you just automatically friends, you know. But, uh, yeah, so I'm probably leaving out a whole lot, y'all, because I don't remember. It's that, it, that was a long, long time ago. My goodness. Um, and actually she's still, um, alive in here. Um, my ex best friend, um, yeah, there's a lot with her. Oh my gosh. A lot of stuff happened with her in her life. Um, her little sister, she's not here anymore. Um, she actually emailed me and, and told me that her sister, um, uh, passed away. Um, uh, I don't know how she passed away, but she did, um, and her mom had, had passed away, too, of cancer. She had cancer. I remember that. Um, I, I think I... Oh, I went to her mom's funeral. I sure did. I went to her mom's funeral. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah. I, why was I telling... Oh, because of this lady right here. Y'all, I just went on a tangent. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, that's a little, you know, story about me. A little personal story about me. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, y'all let me know if y'all have any personal stories that y'all want to tell um, in the comments. Um, oh, this one, y'all. This gonna be the this gonna be the last uh, topic that I talk about because this this video is gonna be a little too long. So, y'all, I see this video on TikTok, right? Um, this girl, it, okay, her and her man is on a cruise, right? And she's mad because. He 
brought his baby mama and his kids on the trip. But, of course, him and his girlfriend are in a room. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the baby mama and the kids is, you know, in another room somewhere else, right? She's complaining. Listen. Now, I don't know if this is a skit or not. I don't know. But listen. I told you don't bring your baby mama or the kids. This is not no vacation. What it got to do with us, bro? What it got to do with us, bro? Why would you bring them? What kind of vacation? How is this a vacation if you bring your baby mom and kids? Bro, it was a package deal. It was a, it was, it was a family pack, bro. And we, we, we had uh, on it. Does it even matter though? We're not with them right now, bro. We, it's weird, me and you. Bro, you can really go. I don't want you in this room tonight. You can go stay in her room. Bro, with no, your kids. This is, no, just, bro. I'm done with that. No, bro. I'm you not shopping for the rest of this trip. Like, I don't care. I don't understand you know that. What's the, what's the problem? Go to her room. Go to like, her room. I'm not, I'm not messing with her no more, bro. Take care of your kids. Make sure they're good out there, bro. Bro, I just wanted my kids to come on this trip too. They've they never been to no cruise. They never been to no cruise, bro. Why would you invite me then? Why would you invite me? Because you're my, you're my, you're my lady. You're my lady, you're supposed to, I wanted you to come. Why you invite your baby mama and your kids? Bro, so she can have the kids. Like, she got the kids, bro, and my kids going to cruise, bro. This is, this is for me and you. Why you, don't do that. Don't act like that, man. Don't touch Come on, you're doing too much. you really doing too much. You can go stay in her room, like I said. I'm not doing this. Why is it, why you tripping? It's not that I ain't got nothing else to say to you, baby. No, what you tripping? Okay, I think this is real. I think this is real. Um, he said the reason why they did that is because it was a family package deal and they went half on it. Um, hmm. This is a hard one. I ain't even gonna lie. I am not going to. But what he should have done was talk to his girlfriend about the decision that him and his baby mama made before they made it like that. It sounds like she just found out once, you know, they got on the cruise. He should have discussed that with her. You know, since he decided to move on from his baby mama, I think that she deserved at least that, a discussion before all this happened. And she should have been in, in those plans because it sounds like him and his baby mama planned that without her, which is disrespectful, in my opinion. Um... I just, honestly, y'all, oh my God, I don't know what I would have done if he would have stuck me in a situation. I, ah, yeah, I would have been mad. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, I'm not. I would have been pissed. <laughs> I probably would have. Oh my goodness. I'm just putting my trying to put myself in her position. And he had his baby mama and the kids on the cruise. Um, but how mad could you have really gotten, y'all? You know, he he had he got had he had oh, I can't even talk right. His kids wanted to go on a cruise. Um, and I'm thinking that her and the baby mama probably don't get along. They probably don't get along. I don't know, y'all. I, I just know that I probably would have been upset with that. I, I, I would have been upset. I would have been like, why didn't you tell me before we got on this motherfucking boat? You know? Like, that was, I don't know. That was kind of inconsiderate of him. And just for him to even think that she would be okay with it. Um, like, honestly, he could have sent... Him, I mean, he sent his baby mama and the kids on a cruise just for them. If you know, I don't know. Mm, that like that that would be awkward, very very awkward. Because I'm pretty sure he would want to spend some time with his kids on the boat, and they're on because they're on the same boat. I'm pretty sure he wants to spend time with the kids too. Now it wouldn't be nothing wrong with him spending time with the kids, you know. <laughs> but the baby mama is there too. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. What would y'all have done if that was y'all? Let me know in the comments, y'all. That that's it. That's it. Um golly, I'm just thinking about that. Like, what? I don't know. Anyway. 
Ah, uh, yeah. So, make sure y'all, y'all, these tacos, those were some of the best tacos I made, y'all. Um, I don't think I've ever put guacamole on my tacos, and I did today, and it was everything. And I mixed my cheeses also. I used, like, I, did I say already? Pepper Jack and um, uh, mozzarella cheese that I shredded, girl. I shredded it, girl. Um, yeah, and <sighs> unbelievable, y'all. Unbelievably delicious. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok, okay? Um, follow me on the Family Vlog channel. Um, yeah, y'all, so tomorrow I am going to uh, film early. And then after I film, I'm going to go live and answer those questions. And try those wines also. Wait, no. Do we want to? Do we want to save the wines for Sunday? Do we want to save the wines for Sunday? And do the questions tomorrow, or do the wine tomorrow and the questions on Sunday? I hope y'all are still here so y'all can answer that question. It's very, very important. Or maybe I'll put it on the community tab and y'all can answer it there. But if you hear it here, answer it uh, in the comments for me, okay? But yeah, y'all, uh, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I, I hope I don't regret telling y'all what I told y'all either. Like, I hope the wrong people are not friggin' watching. But anyway, it's all good. Like, <clears throat> um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 hey, 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 uh, uh, and I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You here? Bye, y'all. Love y'all.